so the first story for you is, is in the Telegraph, and it's, it's a, a basically a minister called Mel Stride says, we've gone too far with the whole mental health thing. And what's happening is people essentially self-diagnosing, Anne, and saying they've got anxiety and what, what not. I've been saying for a long time, particularly in my excellent column in the Express every Wednesday, <laughs> I've been saying for a long time that we have indeed got mental health right out of all proportion. Actually, it's an insult to people who do suffer from genuine mental health problems because you even now get students saying they can't possibly take in-person exams because it's bad for their mental health. Well, now, it may be a bit stressful and it may be a bit challenging, but certainly it is not bad for mental health, and I think we do need to get a sense of proportion. I don't know, maybe, but we so could... So I think he's right. I it's true. Right. Uh, yeah, well, the, the, you know, people say no-one had anxiety during the Battle of the Somme. I think they probably it, did, actually. Of course, of course yeah. they did. Oh, no, I think they probably had it afterwards, gentlemen. Or afterwards. Yeah. But why have we got this mental health epidemic now in a time of peace, Anne? Uh, sorry, Yasmin. <laughs> Never made Nobody that should mistake. ever confuse us. How did that um, happen? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't think uh, uh, people make this up. I think for young people, it's a, a, the COVID thing was, was, was an ex extraordinary experience in many ways and not in a very good way. But also, just think about what the life of a young person is today, where there are so many issues that when I was young, I didn't have housing, anxiety about what am I going to do. And I do think we have to be kinder. But I also time. think, but I also, and I teach at a university. And I, and I do sometimes say to my students, you know, sometimes that life is hard, but you can't not turn up. Right, but I, I see Anne thinking, hang on a minute, you must have had more to worry about yeah, than I young mean, people today. I mean, no, I didn't. People, young, people, well, go on, Anne. young people of every generation have things to worry about. I mean, you say, you know, what am I going to do with my life? What, you know, what, what am I going to study? Am I going to university? Am I going into work? Um, how can I afford to buy a house? All those things, um, you know, uh, 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 intergenerational. Mm. They, they happen in every generation. They are the normal stresses of no, life. And there no. is an enormous difference between real stress and the normal I, stresses I, of being I've been at working at this university for 13 years. It's only in the last two years that we are having to provide food for some of our students. And most of them are in crisis over housing costs. I don't think we can say what is happening now no. okay. happened when I was growing All up. Right. Of course there That's were difficulties. That's interesting, yeah. I'll just mention, in the, because it's on the same page of the Telegraph, this photo, let me hold this up for you. Who's that? Who's that sort of rocky figure, Sylvester Stallone figure? Answer, the French president, no less, <sighs> showing off his, uh, his boxing power, his, his biceps. It's yeah. a Macron. Uh, no, Macron, yeah. Yeah, it's been